What I want to do today is connect our Google Forms app to OpenAI so that whenever a form is created, a spreadsheet response is automatically created as well. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you could try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Google Forms to trigger a prompt in OpenAI, I'll need to use Google Forms as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Form Response as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Google Forms sees an email is sent to our inbox, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Google Forms, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Google account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to fill out our trigger apps data. To do that, select the form you'd like to use for your Zap and click continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click test trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click continue and we can start creating our first action. Type in GPT into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click send prompt and click continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate OpenAI with Zapier, just like I did with my Google account. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen and then select view API keys on the drop down. Click create new secret key and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click continue and it's time to assign our trigger apps data into the action apps fields. Under prompt, I'll type in a custom message. I'll type, please answer the following questions and then I'll click question under the dropdown. And then I'll click continue. Click test action and we can move on to our second action step. Click the plus button on the bottom of the screen to get started. OpenAI will answer our questions, but we'll need a place to send our answers to. Let's use Google Sheets. Type in Google Sheets into the search bar and then select Create Spreadsheet Row and then click Continue. Log into your account once more and click Continue again. From there, we can assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps fields. First, select the spreadsheet and worksheet you'd like to use for your Zap. Once that's complete, the data from my spreadsheet will appear. Under question, I'll select question, and then under prompt answer, I'll select choices text under the dropdown and click continue. Click test action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, whenever a new form is created, a spreadsheet response will automatically be created by OpenAI. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier could do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.